For the next 24 hours, I am going to take this Honda Fit around the state of New York doing DoorDash. To complete this challenge successfully, I have to A, do 24 hours straight of DoorDash without stopping, and B, make at least $300 profit. If I fail any of these requirements, I have to give all of the money we made in this challenge to a random stranger along with an extra $100 to someone random in the comment section. Let's get into it. So first things first, I want to make it clear how DoorDashing even works. As you guys can see, I just turned on the DoorDash app, like started dashing, and boom, I just got a pickup order from a location. Now we just got to drive there and deliver it to the customer's house. And just like that, our 24-hour timer for doing DoorDash officially began. Hi, I have a DoorDash pickup for Tanner R. We just picked up the food, now we gotta take it to the customer's house. Seven, seven, three, four, five, next. Gotta go to the second floor. So we just finished our first DoorDash delivery of the day. We earned $4.50, which isn't great since it took us about 35 minutes to complete. But on the bright side, we've got many more orders ahead of us today since we're pretty much gonna do the same thing over and over and over again until we hit 9.30 a.m. tomorrow. I have a pickup for Robert. Uh, pickup for Adriana. Pickup order for Jillian. Hi, we got a DoorDash order for Jarek. I have a pickup for Alex P. Within the first several hours of delivery driving for DoorDash, I immediately noticed three major struggles with the business model. Number one, waiting for orders. This is something that's completely out of your control and it can greatly affect the amount of profit you make since DoorDash is a productivity game, baby. I'm in Walmart right now trying to do a pickup order. I've been waiting like 15 minutes and employees keep walking past me. You know what, I'm just gonna go up to someone and ask. Excuse me, could I get some help with a pickup order? You have to sign in, we don't have nothing to do with I, I, You have I, to sign in, I already you have did. to wait till they come out. Oh, okay. That clip was taken inside of a Walmart where I waited 15 minutes for a pickup order that earned me $7. I will never get my groceries door dashed. Somebody's getting paid $7. That's why you tip. Right, we didn't even get a tip. Oh, and guys, I forgot to mention the house we delivered to was a legitimate man. My mom always said, from the rich you can learn to save, or however that translates in German. Von den Reichen kannst du sparen lernen. Other time wasters in the DoorDash business include delivering items from stores since I don't go shopping and it takes me forever to find anything. And another big time waster is when people tell you to deliver their food or items to a place like an apartment building or that time I had to deliver five guys to a grocery store. So this is a little bit awkward. I'm delivering five guys to a grocery store up here. Hello, did someone order DoorDash? Yes. And then here you go. Have a good day. Bye. By the time I realized all of these different struggles, we were only four hours into this 24-hour challenge with earnings totaling $59.45, meaning we had 20 hours left to make an extra $250 profit. Seems reasonable, but after a quick 20-minute break to eat, making money with DoorDash just became a lot harder. That's what she said. <laughs> So we just got some Wendy's to deliver. We're gonna be driving about 15 minutes to the customer's house. And Jake, guess how much we're getting paid? I don't know, $6? $4. Oh my God. Here you go, man. Enjoy. We just finished the delivery. We got $4 and we drove about 30 minutes total. I'm not gonna lie, guys. The past two hours since we got back from our break have been absolutely terrible. We've had to wait at least 30 minutes per order. And on top of that, the two orders we have gotten so far have paid us three and four dollars. So we've literally made three dollars and fifty cents per hour since we got back from our break. I'm about to deliver this food right here to a customer. We have to drive 10 minutes out and they didn't give us a tip, so I'm gonna mess with them a little bit. We're literally lost in this trailer park right now trying to deliver a DoorDash order for $3. Excuse me, do you know where unit 232 is? We're heading outside the building. There's a map of the whole place. Awesome. We're delivering a DoorDash order. Good for you guys. Not, not, not really. No, yeah, it's kind of rough. $3. Hi. There you go. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Have a good day Bye. I couldn't do it, guys. The lady looked too nice.
So Wolf's inside McDonald's right now picking up what he thinks is just a normal DoorDash order, but he doesn't know that I actually called up my friend Ryan Scribner and told him to order something ridiculous from this McDonald's that we were right near. So Wolf's inside picking up some pretty crazy order. Oh my <laughs> gosh, bro. Dude, this what the, the hell? This is the weirdest DoorDash order I have ever gotten. What is it? Dude, everyone was just looking at me. 10 large iced teas. All right, guys. So we just pulled up to the customer's house. I'm going to be delivering all of these iced teas. Yo, he's going going up to the house right now. What's up? Okay, so nobody answered. Should I just leave him at the door? Or should I give him a call? Yellow. Hi, um, I'm with DoorDash. I tried to deliver the iced teas to your front door, but nobody no, no, answered. No, 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 not, not that door, not that door. Hold on, guys, not that door. I said the black door, side yard. Oh, DoorDash. 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 Hey, how you doing? Oh, wait, I, I know you, dude. Ryan? No. Bro, I, I swear I've seen your videos before. No, I'm, that's not me. Like, oh, you got okay. the wrong okay, guy, okay. man. Okay. So, uh, all, we got lemons in those two, right? Dude, no, they didn't have lemons. So, I assume you got lemons, though. No, no. Well, who wants a tea without a lemon, man? Like, where are you from? Who, from the, who the hell is that? Oh, who's this guy? <laughs> dude, I knew that was a joke. You came into someone's basement. <laughs> House hack. Dude, I knew you'd recognize him right off the yeah, bat. Yeah, like, who yeah. would? Yeah. Dude, was, that's why that's the only reason I came down here, because I knew it was kind of a prank, but yeah. like, bro, I was like, what the hell? Not gonna lie, the second I heard Ryan talking to me on the phone, I pretty much knew it was a prank since I've been watching his YouTube videos for years, and I also knew that Ryan was friends with Jake, so it didn't surprise me that they tried to prank my ass. We are now about eight hours into this entire DoorDash challenge and we've earned a little bit over $70. We would have made a lot more money, but we had about two, three hours in a row where we didn't make much at all. And all the deliveries we were doing were only paying like three or four bucks. Anyways, guys, DoorDash just introduced a thing where we get an extra $2.50 per delivery. So hopefully pretty soon here, we'll be making a lot more money. There you go. Have Thanks, a good man. night. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Yep. Yeah, bye. Let me tell you guys, evenings are the best time for DoorDash because we just got an order for $15 from a Japanese restaurant. You know what we're gonna do, man? We're gonna do that delivery. So we just finished another DoorDash delivery and Jake, guess how much money we got? Well, $15, you said right off the bat. It was supposed to be $15, but the customer ended up tipping more and we got $21 for the delivery. As quickly as things picked up for DoorDashing, they slowed down just as fast as the sunset turning the sky into darkness. As you guys can see, it is currently 9, 12 p.m., which means we are officially almost 12 hours into this video. Wow. This is definitely a lot tougher than I thought it would be. We've made Made a little bit over $150 so far, so we need to keep up this pace exactly to hit our $300 goal. Orders are definitely slowing down big time. We were getting orders like crazy at like 5 and 6 p.m., but now it's pretty much fully died down, and we got to figure out what we're going to do. Do you think we'll ever see our families again? With the slowdown in DoorDash orders and tiredness sneaking up on us, Jake and I continued to grind over the next several hours in the rare occasion that an order would pop up on my phone. By 11.30, however, we completely lost hope as pretty much all restaurants around us closed and we stopped getting any orders. Guys, unfortunately, I have some bad news. It is currently 11.30 p.m., meaning we are 14 hours into this entire DoorDash challenge, and we've been sitting here for the past half hour trying to do deliveries, but literally every store is closed and this entire area has died down. I'm on Google here, and I'm looking at restaurants, and literally everything is closed in, in the entire area, so. Our plan is to try and sleep for maybe four or five hours until things start to open up in the morning, then we're gonna try and grab on DoorDash again. Good night, guys. I'll see you in the morning. We're going to continue the grind. Good morning, guys. It is currently 5 a.m. As you can see, we literally just got gas at the gas station. It cost us a total of $19.05. Anyways, guys, I'm getting back in the car right now since we're about to start another session of DoorDash. I'm kind of curious to see how DoorDash is gonna be this early in the morning, but I got this handy dandy Red Bull right now, and you bet I'm gonna need it.
The early morning DoorDash session started off slow, but by the end of it, things picked up drastically. We got a ton of orders from places like Panera Bread, Burger King, and McDonald's. And by 9.30, our 24-hour challenge was officially complete and our solid 19 hours of hard work paid off. It is officially 9 a.m. on Saturday, July 24th, and guys, we are officially done with this DoorDash challenge. We ended up earning a grand total of $181.87. We did not end up hitting the $300 goal, so we're gonna go ahead and take $180 out of the bank and tip a drive through worker to end this video off. We just pulled up to Wendy's, and Jake is going to do the honors by giving the drive through worker the fat $180 we worked extremely hard for. Hey, we just we just did DoorDash for 24 hours for a YouTube video. We came through this drive through like four times. So if you could take this and split it with the team, that would be great. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Thank you, Thank you yep. very much. Thank you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have a good one. Bye. On. Real quick before this video ends, if you guys comment the code word Jake Gang, you will be eligible to win $100. Comment that down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.